Elephants are long-lived, family-oriented mammals who live in groups of five to fifty individuals and are led by a matriarchal female. When she stops to eat, they all stop. When she starts walking, they all start walking. And when she postures against aggressive onlookers, they all posture. When she decides it's time to go, they go. So the death can cause a disruption in the family that can ostracize young males like this one before they're ready to go. Juvenile males like this one quickly find bachelor groups that travel together similar to females but in smaller size. They travel the same paths as the female groups in search of water and food. And these paths beat into the ground and are passed from mother to daughter through generations. That's why when a house is built or a crop is planted on these paths, the elephants don't change and often come into conflict. Water is an essential step along an elephant corridor. They must drink every three days, but often drink every day, up to 300 liters. When they've quenched their thirst, if there's available water, a mud bath helps with heat and stinging insects. If they can't find water, they'll dig for it. They're very deft at creating holes in riverbeds to reach difficult water, which is then used by other animals, zebras and baboons, among others can improve these holes for their own use. After a mud bath, feeding resumes and the cycle continues. Elephants' big ears can help them communicate across miles. Their trunk is excellent sense of smell, with thousands of muscles to manipulate branches, sticks, logs, trees, and other parts of their environment with incredible dexterity. Elephants' trunks are perfectly suited to eat all kinds of plant matter. Barks, twigs, branches, and grasses are all on the table for an animal that must eat two to three hundred kilos of food a day. Baobab trees provide water as well as food, but sometimes at the detriment of the tree. <laughs> Adult males enter a phase called muck. This is where elevated hormonal levels cause them to spar, to earn dominance, and the right to breed with females in estrus. The dominant male earns the right to breed, and the female becomes pregnant for 22 months before giving birth to a single calf weighing 100 kilos. This calf nurses for three years, and tusks don't become prominent until five. It will then remain in the herd for the rest of its life with its mother.